to scare the cats. All right. Okay. Um, uh, just emergency podcast, breaking news. Facebook and Instagram are down with Twitter possibly to follow, then email and Zoom to follow that, then MS, SMS texting. It's all going down. We all know that this is a presage to a global communications blackout. This means one thing and one thing only. Uh, Jack and on is real. The traitors are being rounded up. They, uh, it's happening now. We must support the regime. The storm is here. Sit back and watch the show, folks. Enjoy. Joe Biden, with his media ally, Academics, sent out a message this morning at 9 a.m. Academics posted a uh, Joe Biden made a speech about the vaccine mandate. Need it or keep it. Need it or keep it is code. Uh, which <laughs> members of the government will be needed in the coming storm? Which ones will be kept in Guantanamo? Think about it, though. Where do all the traders to this country communicate? Facebook. Yep. Yeah, that's their main hub. Where do all the fake people communicate? Instagram. Mm -hmm. In one fell swoop. Jack and on is taking them all out. They're being rounded up, folks. All the traitors, all the fake friends, uh, they're gone. We're saying bye-bye to them now. And just this brief, brief period of communications blackout is, I think, a small price to pay um, for the fact that we're finally getting some things done in this country. Absolutely. Yes. Round up some sickos. And uh, I've, got, I've got, you know, I got, I got four words for you gentlemen that um, will sum up, you know, how I'm feeling right now. Let there be carnage. That's right. Uh, Venom 2 is out. Movie Magic is back. We, we saw Venom 2 last night. It is one of the only movies you can see that has a story credit by Tom Hardy. <laughs> and oh boy, can you tell. <laughs> I knew I was in for a good time when in the first, the first 30 seconds of Venom 2, Let There Be Carnage, uh, they, they had some like teenager playing a young Woody Harrelson that they dubbed Woody Harrelson's voice over. It was absolutely it was, awesome. <laughs> it was yeah. fairly Especially inexplicable. Especially considering the fact that Woody Harrelson has looked the same for 40 years. <laughs> yeah, you could literally just like Woody Harrelson with like an Instagram filter. You could be like, oh, yeah, that's him as a teenager. There were some amazing choices in this movie, <laughs> both aesthetically, uh, narratively. Can we talk in about every sense? Can we talk about the scene where Venom went to the club and came out of the closet? Yeah, no, Venom goes to like a pride Halloween party and is like, I'm sick of hiding that I'm an alien. And everyone like cheers for him. He's an eight foot tall goop alien. Is like, I'm coming out of the Eddie Brock closet. And everyone's like, yay, we love your costume. It's Plur. Uh, we, we were saying that the best thing about Venom, and this is holds very true in this movie probably truer than the original is that with like the other marvel movies it'll be like you wait till the end credits and there's a scene with like some bullshit superhero that you didn't see before and it's an easter egg that's set up by like three seasons of a show that's on like a special tier of disney plus that's only available to dental hygienists and like there's all this work you have to do and it's supposed to like pay off huge for lore heads and like every, everything has like an explanation and like a backstory and they're going to like squeeze every dollar out of this by making a series about every character that's ever been referenced in any of the Avengers movies. But with uh, Venom, they're like, uh, yeah, no, there's a goo alien and then there are monsters are real. We're not going to explain that. Um, the goo alien can replicate if a guy bites you and make a str and it will make a stronger goo alien. The entire plot of the movie is that Eddie Brock slash Venom gets bitten by a crazy guy and it causes the crazy guy to become a stronger goo alien than Venom. But Venom still beats his ass and wins. Um, two, two, quick, two quick things of notes here. Uh, you know, no spoiler alerts, no spoilers. But um, number one, Venom 2, even more goop than the first Venom. So fans yes. of goop will not be disappointed by this. And this time with the red Venom, the goop looks even more penis-like than it did before. I mean, I'm talking, I'm talking throbbing veins here. So we've got plenty of goop. Um, uh, just a second thing of note. Um, I have been, I've been a fan of the Spider-Man comic books my whole life, obviously. I'm a huge Peter Parker head. And if there's one thing I was waiting for for, for decades now is when are they going to put Shriek in a Marvel movie? When am I going to see Shriek on film? When am I going to see the iconic character Shriek, the lady that yells loud, um, portrayed on film? And I got to say, Naomi Harris did a spectacular job. I mean, we all, we all remember Shriek from the comic strip. 
Yeah, Shriek was kind of the breakout star in the 90s of comics. I went to Shriek three Halloweens in a row. <laughs> <laughs> Venom um, is Venom is a movie magic experience. You got to you got to get your friends, get your soda and tuck in for exactly 90 minutes including credits <laughs> <laughs> exactly none of this fucking bullshit where it's like oh our movie yeah our cgi movie is three hours long to like maximize like what netflix or whatever gives us like it to to maximize like at the shareholder meeting for disney to be like people watch disney plus on an average of seven hours because all our movies are that long it's like no there's only 90 minutes worth of shit in this like barely this is like <laughs> legally as long as we can make this movie. <laughs> um, if I have if I have just one one mild critique of Venom Two, Let There Be Carnage, there was not nearly enough Lady Venom when Michelle Williams gets the Venom symbiote and she becomes a sexy Lady Venom. There was it was only on screen for like barely even thirty seconds, and like you know it just wasn't well lit or defined enough. I just think they should have spent a lot more time. Um, I think the camera loves Lady Venom. It's so funny that this is D Michelle Williams is in Venom. <laughs> it's, it's, they got her twice. It's like she was, she's been in all these like real movies. Like with, with Tom Hardy, it makes it like Tom Hardy is like the type of guy where it's like they describe what Venom is to him, and he's like, "Oh, that's me. That's what I feel like." <laughs> but like she's like a real at like they're both real yeah. actors, but like yeah. she's like. She's almost like mostly in real movies, like 98% of her roles. Like Sometimes the girl's got to get gooped, though. Yeah. I mean, I guess like it's like they're like, here's like seven million dollars to be like a goo lady. To say to say like maybe 20 lines of dialogue. But it, it just is. It is like funny to me. It's like if it's like if they made a third one and like Kate Blanchett is Venom's mom. I mean, they already did. Kate Blanchett was uh, the, 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 the evil god in, in Thor. Oh yeah, I guess. Oh, yeah, I don't. Know. I haven't seen those movies. All right. Well, uh, just enjoy, uh, enjoy. Let there be carnage, folks. Enjoy. Let there be carnage because post um, this evening, after the global communications blackout and the storm commences, uh, Venom Two: Let There Be Carnage will be the only movie or televised entertainment that you will be allowed to see, and rightly so. It's it's, is, all, yeah. it's all due to Biden. All, all praise due to Biden. I yeah. He brought, I, he brought movies back, and he's making sure that Venom 2 is the only movie that will ever be back. No, yeah, we saw the coming attractions. Movies are back. They are back. There's uh, the Halloween Kills, New James Bond, which like might as well be a story about Joseph Robinette Biden. <laughs> no time then, to die. No no time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally no, to, no time left to be Joe Biden's story. <laughs> um, uh, and then there's the movie where the moon crashes into the earth. That These are all amazing. movies you could imagine yourself seeing with Joe Biden. You could uh, imagine him making a comment about, you know, Michelle Williams' body. And then you feel something like wet and cold on your knee. And one of his, one of the two scoops from his ice cream fell onto your <laughs> knee. <laughs> or it's, or it's and just he's like, oh, no. he's like, oh, man, that's why you get two. <laughs> all right. Well. Uh, Felix, we got a Felix did an interview with uh, someone from WikiLeaks. Uh, Felix, you want to you want to? It's all that? about wanna... Venom. <laughs> I asked him about what he thinks is going to be in Venom. Uh, what characters he think will, thinks will come back. What uh, like what he wants like explained with like symbiote abilities. Whether Carnage will be physically stronger or not as smart. Like how important it is when the symbiote and the host are in concert. Similar to Venom and Eddie Brock, I mean, <laughs> is WikiLeaks is WikiLeaks going to get to bottom get to the bottom though of the cryptic line read at the end of Venom Two? <laughs> Let there be carnage. Where Stephen Graham's character, who's already dead, his eyes glow blue and he says monsters. Yeah, that's the what, best what's coming thing down. About what's Venom. coming down the pipe? That's the best thing about Venom. That'll ne it'll ju they're just like yeah, monsters are like real. There's like a Dracula that Venom fights. <laughs> that's the third movie. They're going to be like. Oh yeah, it's Venom versus like the Boogeyman or whatever. Remember, it was like uh, we were watching like I don't know uh, the Twenty with uh, we were watching the Twenty before the movie, and then it came up. It was like get your tickets now, and it was like Venom, Spider Man, No Way Home, and then Morbius, and then Felix just says out loud in the theater, "What the fuck is Morbius?" <laughs> <laughs> and that is what I asked Kristen Hrafson, editor in chief of WikiLeaks. All right, Kristen, well, what's Morbius? No, I had a, I had um we had a we had a very important interview about uh. 
what the U.S. and U.K. governments are doing to Julian Assange, the horrible precedents that the extradition case against him sets, and a rare thing for our show, Songs of Hope. Uh, it is a very vital interview. This is not being covered enough in most American media. And uh, I, again, want to thank Kristen for uh, giving us his time on this. Well, after that interview, we'll be talking Kirsten cinema that yeah, is that's right what, what's what's this daffy dame up to what's her deal all right let's uh let's go to the interview and we'll be back in a little bit 